வணக்கம் புள்ள தமிழோ ஏ தமிழ் தான் இன்னொரு இடத்துல இறக்கி விட முடியுமா how far a two minutes தான் இங்க இந்த two minutes எங்க போறீங்க where are you going a concert concert க்கு போறேன் at your age இந்த ஏட்லயும் கான்சர்ட் போகலாம் என்ன all right jump in okay ah ayyo appa uh which way am i going nera poma nera nera okay cool and cool, cool. car ki the radio edam irukku yeah yeah phone irukku just ah ok seva illa ok illa illa adha ellam illa adha paliya kaalam saama avaru paliya paattu nu poda pora nee kettu solla apdi okay okay oh and i know this song you paattu theriyum paada nee enakku paattu nu theriyum it the favorite part unga amma 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 petta magalin maru magana unga appa pa appa pa petta magalin அம்மா <laughs> 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 You know what it was? I was getting my dad to listen to this song in it. Mm. I could just tell mama was thinking, "Why are you going for these lyrics?" Oh, yeah. No, when I was explaining it to my mom as well. Yeah. She was like, "Enge irundhen ipdi lyrics la maliye thodai vidi." But like it's not direct. You know what I mean? Like, like if you understand Tamil, you would get it. That's the thing. You know what? When I listen to the first listen, you won't clock it at all. Yeah. See, obviously I didn't clock it in it. Yeah, yeah. But then the more I was listening to it, I was like, "Low key, Tamil songs are so dirty." Yeah, yeah. Hundred, yo, old school Tamil songs are hella they're dirty. They're dirty yeah. and like they're way dirtier than like English songs. Oh, like where are you getting these lyrics from? Who influenced you with that one? Um, <laughs> I read a lot of books. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you can take the wig off now. Yeah, oh my god, Apple Boss gone. Apple Boss gone. Throw that wig in the back. Hello Sahi, tell us tell the people what they want to know. What do you guys want to know? How did your journey start? How did you get into music? How did you know how did you know you could sing and write songs as well? Mm, so, it kind of started a very long time ago. Like from the age of 4, I yeah. I went to Tamil school. So my parents are both Tamil school teachers. Is it? Yeah, so they've been teaching like since I was born pretty much. So, no we way. went we went I started Tamil school when I was like 4 or 5 years old and with Tamil school, you know like most Tamil schools offer like Sangeetam lessons, Mridangam lessons. Yeah. Like so, I started learning from like the age of 5. Mm, yeah and I was just like traditionally just learning in group lessons and stuff like that then when I was like 16 I kind of bought a guitar and I was like trying to like learn to play the guitar okay and then for my mom's birthday me and my sisters were like let's write a song for her birthday when we were 16 no when I was 16 way. so okay. that was the first ever song I wrote and yeah. then after that it was like when I was 18 I did my arrangement for Mr. Zangam and vocal so that kind of like When you're learning sangi then like I could I realize that I could somewhat sing right I've always wondered how as a singer did you know you was good because when I sing that like, I think I'm I don't know like, when I sang people didn't complain so I think that, I think that's, that's I think that's the difference between that, me and that, you that, that, Did you think that like, when you started that you were going to end up where you are now cuz I would say yeah in my opinion mm. like you're one of the biggest UK Tamil independent oh. artists out there Stop it man Stop, yeah, it. stop it You know like people when they grow up they're like oh I want to become a doctor and stuff like that yeah. I never up until the age of 18 19 it, it was never that I wanted to become a musician It was a very like last minute thing that yeah. came up towards me right And if it wasn't for like the uni shows and like certain songs changing my life I would never have thought I could even do something like this full time you know What would you um say to like a Tamil independent artist that's trying to get out there like what's a piece of advice So I think do? first of all don't stop if you truly believe you can do it then yeah. don't stop but also i think like quality is very important you need to have mm-hmm. a group of friends or family who are like very critical of your work you know okay. like yeah. like my mom always says this thing to me even now like chuma budu onnu mandadaga paattu eludha that kind of thing you know yeah, like, yeah, yeah. every single song that you make and every single piece of work that you do it has to be like good quality good standard you don't want to look back and be like yo like i regret releasing that 100% thing, right? yeah 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 and um i think that's what people like some people can't take criticism but if you really want to be like you know doing well in this creative field you need to have a group of people that you can show your For work sure. to and then they can honestly give you feedback you know what it, mm. honest opinion does change everything if you have people that just like yes people men. please yeah, yes yeah, men that's it yes men, yeah, yeah. yeah you can't have yes men cuz otherwise they're going to say yes yes yeah, yes and, and you'll never learn and you'll yeah. never like you know understand you, what your weak points and stuff like that like for me like thankfully my family like my two sisters are my biggest critiques right okay is that right critiques yeah, yeah critiques critiques, critiques, yeah. critiques and um anything i do like they will rip it kind of thing and like um it's good because you're like um it's nice to have people that will be just like brutally honest with you and yeah. it's actually made my music better as well you know like so You said that your parents I remember you told me that that was their first time watching you live. Watching live yeah, so that's... what do your parents think of it? Again another thing like Tamil parents like mm. tell me like the journey with that. 
that was hard like that and it's still hard as well even to this day it's like it's always like an uphill battle kind of thing because yeah they yeah. had so many hopes and dreams yeah and i think what's worse than that is they have their own hopes and dreams that they kind of just put on me you know like they wanted me to do certain things that yeah. they couldn't do and I'm, and I'm like okay fair enough but like when do i get to live my life you know it's very selfish thought but like they've realized now that like you're these he's doing something that not a lot of people can do yeah. and we have to let him try kind of thing i do have a, like a, a funny question for you have you got any like fan encounters fan stories cuz you know i'm asking you this i've seen some live though like i've actually seen some uh, there's, been, there's been like obviously like fans show love in different different ways there's been like really like heartfelt moments where like some people have like uh, come up to me and then like, they've actually been like visibly emotional like cried and said that like certain songs and certain oh, lyrics I wrote and I've like changed their lives and stuff like that other people like there's been certain fans where like they'll write me like love messages and like DMs and like there was there was one yo Crazy. like Crazy. it was just like I think like I was getting ready I was like getting set up for like a marriage proposal and I'm like I've never met you in my life no and, no um, way and it's like you know like, it's funny but it's also like um it's quite touching as well you know like <laughs> people, touching like, what? <laughs> I've cried one too many times listening uh, to this song pogiren uh, pogiren ni poradu pogattu I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> Why are you contemplating so much here? Yeah? We're gonna watch a music video for this song now. So girai adi idu vare sonna sollil konja madu unmai ullada edukadi kaalil kaatina kanir. Enne saagirai ena kudai thevaya. Where did you get your lyrics from though? Who inspired you? Um I like you know I like watching sad movies and uh other part the part I was like yo let's write a sad song. So, so no in real life ah, yo, nothing like that yo my life is too boring for that. <laughs> no way. I feel like these lyrics they have to come from somewhere but I think you know like obviously like life experiences help. Yeah. Um, the, all of my lyrics kind of come from the things that i see the things that i experience and also like the things that my friends and family experience as well so yeah you know, as like as like a collective like um me and my friends i think collectively we've all been through enough breakups to write like <laughs> thousands of songs you know i like Not for everyone real. goes through the most weirdest breakups yeah. as well the one that's always played in the club my favorite all time all time banger in it that's your all time favorite it, you know what it is it's one of the ones where it's like it's a it's a national anthem okay it's a national okay, anthem okay. I, get, i get what you mean that's yeah, the yeah. perfect way to put it i think yeah because i think i've been told that when that beat starts everyone knows what song it is everyone knows exactly as in it's one of them ones where it's just like it's a given like if you don't play it out a tumble motive like what like listen <laughs> lock, off, lock off the motive man <laughs> lock off the motive <laughs> mama 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 in the ukare figure it and dale ut sirak haath kili chale tal sut de macha batle torandale life rakhi de sober el kapuri kala bodha da nindu mere gala mama va mama inda ukare figure it and dale ut sirak haath kili chale tal sut de macha I think one regret I have is not shooting a music video for the song. There isn't. There There's isn't. not a music yeah, video yeah, for the song. Why? I Why? Think if we shot Why? One, I think we shot one. It would have been. It would have done much better than it has done so far. Why did you not shoot one? Yo, honestly, because for the song's vibe, it's a proper like good to song. Yeah, right? of course. I was like, either we shoot it in India or we don't shoot it at all. Do you know what I mean? Are you trying to break my window? No, no, that was an accident. <laughs> But yeah, like I, I feel like each song, like the music video, has to match the exact potential of the song. That's and true. And for me, it was like you're like. At the time, we weren't able to go to India to shoot it, and then it just became like a thing. But I really want to re-release the song. Like I feel like people are still waiting on a music yeah, video. Yeah, no, for sure. Like, I'm thinking about it, but like the right time has to come. Like, yeah, it's been four years, almost five years now. Maybe for the fifth year, like as a re-up. Oh, say guys, you hear that? Maybe, you hear maybe. that? You heard it here first. You heard it here first. <laughs> 
Okay, so what are your plans for the future? Any songs coming out? Well, so albums coming out yeah. in March. Well, February, March. I haven't yeah. decided yet, but it's, it's pretty much done. Albums pretty yeah. much done. It's just the last minute tweaks and cleaning up. Like uh, MJ is working on the mixing and mastering for it and stuff like that. Lit. So album is the biggest thing that's coming out February or March. So would you care to play a song from your new album? Hey, let's go. <laughs> this song's called What the Body Will and it features myself and Rati Aditan and it's produced by Salojan. It's pretty much an NKP 2.0, you could say. Shout out. So yeah, let's go. What the body will, what the city be, what the nitty be, what the city be, what the nitty be, what the city be, what the nitty be, what the nitty be. What the body be, what the city be, what the need be, what the body be, what the city be, what the need be, what the body be, what the city be, what the need be, what the body be, what the city be, what the need be, what the body be, what the city be, what the need be, what the body be, what the city be, what the need be, what the body be, what the city be, what the need be, what the body be, what the city be, what the need be, what why are you trolling me for I'm actually a public oh. nuisance. So, this is the last part of the video where I ask you maybe some questions that you don't want to answer, but if you don't want to answer them, then you know the drill, innit? Can I see your recent Instagram searches? Yeah. <laughs> Probably just Instagram models. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> let, me, let me find it myself. I don't even know what I've searched for. Don't clear it. Oh. <laughs> you know what? Shut you in. Music Sandosh. Sandosh Narayanan. This guy knew he was coming. Nah, yo, I wouldn't know that was going to be a question. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, what is what is the worst collab you've ever done? <laughs> if there's one. I wouldn't say there's the worst collab because I'm very selective about the people that I work with. So I, would, I wouldn't have said yes if I didn't think the project was worth doing. Okay, yeah. so you haven't had any um, bad... Like, I wouldn't say worst collab, but there's, like, there's one song that I like kind of wish... I could have done and like differently or like done better would probably be the Nenji Nile rebirth. Oh, really? Even though it was like it did very well, it's like a very popular song. I do I don't like the music video as much as like I would like to like the music video. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so yeah. So I yeah. think that's one thing I would love to you know like redo. And even the song, I feel like I could have done it better as well. Like I don't know. But I feel like sometimes you look back at those things and there's always something that you yeah, think you yeah, could have yeah. done better. No, for but... sure. That's that's natural as well. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. No, you're so far so good. Obviously, you sing a lot of love songs. Is there anyone that could be about? No, it's not about one specific person. Like, it's inspired by... Crazy. It's inspired by, <laughs> it's inspired by people, you know, that, like, um, I'm surrounded by. So, okay. if my cousin goes through a breakup, I write a song about it. Like, that's how <laughs> you put yourself in their shoes, yeah? Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay, cool. <laughs> single or taken? I'm single. Guys, do you... Wait, 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 wait. Let me say that again. I declined to answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, okay, then I'm single, then I'm single. For the chili sake, I'm single. Would you ever mm. go out with a fan? And I think you should be careful answering that's this. That's a, like, okay, if it's, if it's a fan just asking me out on a date, that's a bit weird, right? Yeah. But if it's like someone that I've like met naturally and we have like a natural conversation and stuff like that, and they also happen to be a fan, then that's okay. Do you, know, do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, I do get what you're trying to say. Are you just saying like if they know your music, they know of you, it's not deep? That's fine, right? But if, they, if they're purely fangirl about me, like the first time I meet them, and then they're like, can we go out on a date? I'll probably say no. Purely because okay. like that, that, it just feels a bit weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, understand. Do you have any like embarrassing moments? Like one that like sticks out to you, maybe like when you've been performing or mm. something, like just something to do with obviously your okay, career at the so, moment. So like, okay, one, in terms of performing, I do this like, I call it like a mic trick, but it's not really a trick, it's just like a thing that I do now, which is just, I just spin the mic and I just catch it. One time I didn't catch it, right? And then it like, it fell and the mic broke, right? So like the battery came out <laughs> oh, and so everything. Weird. And this is like halfway through a song, right? No. But thankfully like, Sai and Matthew were also performing <laughs> <laughs> so they quickly saw this shenanigans and they literally came around and gave me their mic. But that was hella embarrassing oh, because I was like, yo, imagine how many like, people's phones were like recording. Yeah. Oh, that was bad. Oh, that's a bit, it's a yeah. bit icky. I can't lie. No, no, yeah. I, I don't blame you for having the ache. <laughs> but you know what? You have passed the spicy confession. Yes, so. Yes, you haven't yes, had sir. to eat anything. And I hope you've enjoyed yeah, this new fun. series, Sahi. And yeah. thank you for coming on it. But it it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Smashed it, man. Well done. Thank you. Good stuff.